So the mayor of New York apparently has a brilliant idea to handle the migrant problem. New York City has a new plan to deal with its growing migrant crisis. We've been sure. talking about this, and that plan looks like this. Send the homeless residents from the city to upstate This is instead. like plan C. It's not even plan B. I send them upstate. Let's just send them somewhere else. Just share. Just let's just share the load. Uh, maybe it's D, E, F and G. Z. It's not working. Uh, Mayor Eric Adams taking a drastic new step to try to free up much needed shelter space, because this is the thing. They had a limit on how much time these migrants could stay in those shelters. Two months and you're out. But where are they going to go? Two months and you're out. But we got 10,000 coming in every month. We'll just move them out. But then I thought they could be there for longer than a month. Oh, right now they're on the street. Uh, but right now the mayor is allowing local housing assistance vouchers to be used outside of New York City for the first time for the homeless. Because all of the folks upstate want more homeless in their communities. Uh, Dre Clark. Yep, that's what everybody wants. That is the American dream. Breaking down Adam's strategy is to get a voucher and whether or not people are for it, I'm guessing it's not really getting a lot of popular attention. No, you know, this is just like the, as the world turns, a soap opera that goes on and on. <laughs> it is refreshing to hear the news. These, these little news guys on these little local, local news channels actually said that. That's that's refreshing because they see this this is just a absurd on and on but meanwhile we're outside of the mayor's uh, mansion gracie mansion where he lives here on the upper east side you can see here behind me security parked outside but the mayor certainly uh, has probably been very busy these last couple of days uh, because leaders in many of the 57 counties outside new york city say they were blindsided by the mayor's announcement and their concern the sudden influx of people uh, could cause their city and county budgets to spiral out of control. The mayor said they weren't blindsided. They all know what's going on. As the leaders didn't like the idea of the migrants being moved to their towns, so he's sending the cities homeless. He says it's a legal and fair play and a necessary one because the city shelter system is overrun and there's little hope that will change for the better anytime soon. Uh, this was a statement sent out by the mayor's office reading in part these reforms will give longtime New Yorkers the ability to move out of our city shelter system to other parts of the state with more affordable housing options. <laughs> so, so you're going to send them somewhere else, which those areas are probably stressed. They probably have their own money issues, but let's, let's just, since we're having so much issues, we're, we want you to take the load, help us with the load. Oh my God. While simultaneously opening up space uh, in our city shelter system for the approximately 10,000 migrants who continue to arrive in the city seeking shelter month after month. Now, the housing vouchers are issued to both homeless people and low income families. Recipients pay a small portion of their rent and the city pays the rest. It is the first time the city is allowing housing assistance vouchers to be used outside the five boroughs, giving voucher holders a better chance of finding cheaper housing. The city giving them anything? <laughs> it's the taxpayers' money. It's the it's the working people who are already working are having to burden you know take on this burden. I'm cold by the way. I had a little blanky on me. Closing <laughs> elsewhere, they will be able to move wherever they want in the state of New York. Uh, the move of course is an attempt to try and handle the homeless population in city shelters, which city officials say uh, is now really out of control. The city says it's caring for more than 100,000 people in the shelter system, and that includes 60,000 migrants, with an average of 10,000 migrants still arriving in the city every month. Oh, my gosh. I, the mayor is like, I got a brilliant plan. Let's give them vouchers. Really? They, you know what? They would save more money. 
get them all in buses, get them back on a plane, and get them back where they came from. Seriously. Now, a lot of those look like, like some of these guys, they, they look like they're Haitians or from, they don't look like they're all from Mexico, but they all cross the border at Mexico. The city hasn't said how many people are actually eligible for this program, but we, we, we do know asylum seekers are. I mean, look at, look at these, look at all these people. These aren't just Mexicans, Hispanic people. This, this is, this is from a lot of places. Are disqualified, but as you would expect, uh, the mayor's plan is also getting some major pushback. A statement from the New York State Association of Counties read in part, we call on New York City to reverse this initiative. Shifting a problem from one part of the state to another does not solve anything. It simply creates more problems. Back now live here outside Gracie Mansion, there are those who support uh, the mayor's plan, saying that it will allow low income and homeless families to find permanent affordable housing. Also saying landlords will get stable pay and it could end up saving the city millions of dollars. Landlords are going to get stable pay. We all know, like if your kid's on a, a state insurance, you know, low income Americans, they can apply for, you know, the, the state run insurance. And, and then you start calling around trying to find who can take the insurance, like a dentist or they're um, just a regular health provider. <clears throat> and it, you have to keep calling and calling and calling to get somebody to accept it. And why is that? Because it takes them a long time to get to get the money from the state. So only certain places take state health insurance. And so now the they're going to guarantee these landlords uh, money. They're going to have a steady flow of income. And it's the taxpayers' money. Don't, don't you like how they just... La, 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 you get some money. You get just carefree with, with, with the people's money. Just so carefree. Just so carefree with it. Uh, and carrying a cost uh, for those migrants and other homeless people here at City Shelters. But Adrian, uh, as you know, every week there is a different development, a different chapter. At this point in time, uh, the mayor is desperate, and so he's looking to explore as many legal loopholes as possible to try and shift the... The mayor is desperate from New York City to other parts of the state. Well, especially with that judge's ruling on Staten Island, uh, saying that he doesn't believe that it's legal for the mayor to actually ship people uh, to Staten Island who are new immigrants, new arrivals. Uh, to what does he mean they don't think it's, it's legal? Well, the Biden administration is uh, sending them on planes and sending them all over the place and just bringing them in. The U.S. Uh, Dre, thank you so much. We'll continue to follow this, of course. Thank you for watching. Wow. On top of the migrant problem, the illegals, New York has other problems. And here we go. Target announced that it will close nine of its stores, including the one on 117th Street in Harlem. The stores will shutter for good on October 21st. And as Fox 5's Arthur Chan reports, Target's blaming the closures on ongoing problems with theft and violence. I just come. Well, they should be blaming it on all the above, the, the immigration problem, the stress on that. You got all these people, and y'all saw the pictures of all these people sitting on the sides of the road. You know, they're just waiting. They're just waiting. What, what, what did they think was going to happen? I think they knew what was going to happen. There's going to be crime, 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 crime. And stores are finally going to say, We're, we've had enough of it. Now, the city can't seem to get a hold of anything. How They, they can't get a hold of crime. They can't get a hold of the migrants. They can't, they can't do anything but spend your money. My mother got me some eggs, some bananas, some avocados. Anthony uses it for his groceries, and David is here for a birthday present. 
I just bought a little something for my for my son, who's his birthday today. Countless red- Of course, all these people in this community use this particular target. That poor old guy. Where is he going to go? Now he's got to travel further? Maybe he's got to call an Uber? He doesn't have money for that. Residents in East Harlem rely on this Target on East 117th Street, but now Target says it's closing this store in a matter of weeks, citing rampant shoplifting that threatens the safety of employees and customers. They come here, they steal, they steal, they steal. And I told them, they're hurting the neighborhood. This woman has worked at this Target location since it opened in 2010. She asked not to be identified. but she Man, and I bet she loved her job. She's been working there since 2010. She's clearly upset about this. Shared with us her frustration with shoplifters who often come in mobs emptying shelves. They thought they was being smart and everything running in, running out. Just disrespectful to this store. You understand what I'm saying? Just, just, they just disrespected the store to the tires. Now there's not going to be no more target. Now what they going to do? Now what's going to happen to this neighborhood? Surveillance videos like... And I, I feel really bad for her because she seems like a, a good person. She loved her job. She's working. She's... It's just, it's just a shame. These routinely show brazen levels of criminal activity. Shoplifting on a large scale has become a national crisis, costing retailers over $112 billion in losses last year. Well, it also has to do with the lack of police force and the lack of, oh, let's just smack them on the hands uh, <coughs> when they get caught doing a crime. And then now they're boohooing about it. They're boohooing about it. Well, you know... You know, everybody talked about racism, you know, but look, hey, it does, no matter what color you are, you're committing crimes, you need to be arrested. If in this area, it's particular certain people, nationality, whatever, committing the crime, then that's what it is. There, there's no racism involved in that. This poor, that poor woman's losing, going to lose her job. Because of a group of people going in there and stealing. Right? Because of lack, the lack of uh, the police force convicting these people and, and making, making them pay for their crime. Instead of smacking them on the wrist. That they probably go, well, we're not going to get in trouble. We, we, they're not going to do nothing. They're just, they'll arrest me and then they're just going to let me go. Nobody cares. According to a National Retail Federation survey, Target's East Harlem store is one of nine locations. It's closing nationwide, all for the same reason. Other locations include San Francisco, Portland, and Seattle. We may see other stores closing locations too, specifically in those big metro areas where, you know, the cost of rent is high. So it's really making a bigger impact on those stores. CVS, the Rite Aids, they're all closing. These guys are shoplifting left and right. And, you know, these closings are not just happening here in New York. They're happening in all different parts of the country in really nice cities. San Francisco, other places, they're just they're just closing up. They are leaving. And the big part of it is is because the lack of policing people, holding them accountable and throwing them in jail. Right, and it's, and it's horrible. Not only is there a cost to this neighborhood, but this impacts all of the employees who work at this location. Target says they're going to try to absorb everybody into have some choice advice for shoplifters. Get a job. The lights will go out here permanently on October 21st at the Target in East River Plaza. Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News. Well, there you go. Get a job.